Got to bring you in closer. About an inch or so underneath, I've got something green and it looks old. Will you search through the lonely earth for me? Climb through the briar and bramble. Good morning. It is Saturday, March 25th. It's about 6.30 in the morning here. Uh, up in Fort Collins, Colorado. And uh, I'm up here visiting my sister for the weekend. I have kind of a unique story here. I was driving past this... Uh, commercial location and uh, notice it's kind of an older house uh, it's actually owned by State Farm right now so um, I thought what the heck I saw a whole, whole bunch of older trees uh, looks like an older building I stopped and asked for permission to hunt uh, on the property here and uh, before I could get the words you know would you mind if I could um, I, the owner Dave was uh, amazing he said absolutely uh, you know, kind of gave me the history of the property itself. Um, said it's been hunted before, but, um, you know, what the heck, let's try it, right? So I wanted to kind of show um, the property itself. He kind of told me the way that it, it, it uh, is laid out and things like that. So let me kind of show you where we're at uh, today. This is the actual uh, building here. Uh, through some research, I found out it was built in 1925. It's an older property. You can see the, the large tree down there, tall one there. This is a big pine in front of me here. Um, the property itself has some outbuildings in the back. Uh, at one time, when he purchased this back in uh, the 80s, uh, it actually was five acres. Uh, it included uh, this area over here. He since has sold it off, and they've made a another building and parking lot um, but he does own um, all the way back to that red barn there uh, right now it's right around uh, just it's over two acres that he has um, and uh, I'm really excited to be out here today this morning I wanted to get out here early I couldn't really sleep last night um, whole bunch of old outbuildings a gazebo um, and, and the house itself right here on the street um, but it looks promising to me, so hopefully we find something good. All right, been here about an hour. I got the front done, found a lot of trash, two copper pennies. Not really much going on out there. I think there was some, a lot of fill dirt brought in. There's a large uh, flagpole there, and then it kind of tapers down to the street. Um, but I came over here to the side. Um, small little patch of grass here. I'm um, not sure if this was the well at one time or what this is, but uh, got a couple signals uh, poked around a little bit underneath this uh, tree here. And got to bring you in closer. About an inch or so underneath, I've got something green and it looks old. So I'm gonna pull this out right now. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, it's an Indian head. Uh-uh. That is my first Doug Indian head penny. One cent right there on the back. Let's see if I can get a, a date off of there. Uh, 1897. I'll show a picture of it, better picture of it here uh, in the video. Oh my gosh, I am ecstatic. Underneath this tree, I kid you not, an inch down. I just popped up a little bit of soil and it's sitting right there. 1897 Indian. Oh, amazing. We'll see you on the next.
Okay, I put in about two hours over here at this site. Um, I have to head home real quick. Um, plan on returning tomorrow, but I'm going to do a quick wrap up of the trash and the and the uh, coins that I did find this morning. So uh, a lot of aluminum foil. I think maybe a, a, a can top of some sort. It's pretty corroded. More foil. Um, did find a pen. If you lost your pen, let me know. I did find it for you. Uh, a couple pieces of just iron. Nothing really exciting. Kind of a big nail right there. Uh, not sure what this type of thing is here, but uh, looks like it broke off of something. Three razor blades. I was pretty surprised to find that in the ground. Um, and then I did find two pennies, a 1980 and 1981, both copper. And then my uh, my biggest find for uh, myself to date now, uh, since I started metal detecting, it's the 1897 Indian head penny. I'm very, very, very excited to found, have found that. Um, but I will plan on coming back in the morning uh, if I can, uh, if I still have the permission and things like that. But uh, keep watching. I'll put this all together in one movie one, uh, and uh, just, see, just see how it goes. So thanks for watching. All right, I'm out here. I'm back on day two at the 1925 house. Um, well, I'm working the side here now, just underneath the grass. We've got a harmonica reed broken uh, but that's my first harmonica read also uh, lots of firsts for me out here at this house so super excited I'm gonna keep looking and see if I can find the rest of it thanks all right I came underneath this row of trees here Kind of in the dirt, had a low 70 signal, about two inches down, popped out. That's my second Indian. Second Indian. It's pretty toasty. I'm not sure if I can get a date off of that or not right now. I'll definitely clean it up and try and get a date off of it so so excited that's my second one all right we're gonna do a quick wrap up my weekend's over um, so the permission I got up here I'm about almost two hours north of where I actually live um, so I'm heading back down from my weekend so it'll take me another week till I get back up here hopefully I can do another video um, after that but I'm gonna wrap up what I found this morning here um, dug some trash garbage nails aluminum foil these here came in on the AT Pro 76 so strong um, thought they were you know, Wheaties or Indian heads. They're actually little tags to roses. So I found where all well, the rose bushes and rose garden was on the property. Um, it was pretty funny. This piece right here, um, very, very heavy. I want to say it's lead. Um, I th I'm thinking it's a bullet. I, I, I just don't know what, what in the world it is. I'm going to do a little research, clean it up. It is very heavy though. Um, pretty cool little find. That was Actually, the first find I had. Um, don't know what this is exactly. Found a piece to a harmonica reed. That is my first harmonica reed. So, again, this, this weekend's been a whole bunch of firsts for me, which is amazing. Um, just so blessed. Um, found some clad, got on some clad. Got one quarter, nickel, two dimes, ten pennies. Uh, and then uh, my big find for today is my second... Indian head penny. Um, it, it's pretty toasty. I do. I can see 1890 something on it. Um, so I'll get it cleaned up and see um, if that's a match to my 1897 I found yesterday. So um, overall, great weekend. Great permission. Um, I had a great time, and I'm definitely probably going to be heading back up there again next weekend and see what else I can pull out of there. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
Will you search through the lonely earth for me? Climb through the briar and bramble. Ah. 